Today we're going to fix a radiator fan for an Audi TTS. These same fans are also in Volkswagens. Uh, yeah. That's the old fan right there. Three bolts. We've got the new fan right here. Ordered off eBay. The, uh, these fans, directly from Audi, they're uh, about $380, but on eBay, aftermarket, 50 bucks. So you could buy six of the aftermarket for the price of the one. Hi. All right, I've placed the fan inside the uh, housing here, held together by these uh, three bolts. We're gonna put that in there, and then we are going to uh, run the cables back through. Uh-huh. All right, we've got this back in here. This was a pain in the butt to push back in, but it uh, it's back in. It's ready to connect this back up. Oh, yeah. So it's going to have to slide right down there in front of the radiator. Oh, my God. My there God. are four <laughs> screws or bolts that uh, this thing connects to. So we're going to wiggle it in there, and we're going to bolt it back up. The trick is to angle it yeah. so you don't have to take out the uh, intake manifold or disconnect any of the coolant pipes. And then the other trick is going to be uh -oh. screwing it back in and avoiding these this uh, uh, high pressure AC line. So this is what I'm talking about over here. I know this is kind of hard to see. It's a little dark. But uh, being able to wiggle this thing back in here and you have to angle it in so you kind of drop it in at an angle and then you reposition it from the top. Come on, let me see. Radiator fans head on with these size T30 Starbit or Torx screws. You're going to need a small uh, ratchet in order to get there because like I said this high pressure coolant line is kind of right in the way of that so these, uh, the small ratchet All right, now we're underneath the car. This is where the fan connects. Uh, intake, air intake pipe. And then it also connects over here. Hard to see. Let's see if I can shine some light on that. Right there, that's where the two bottom bolts fit. So right, that's right there. I was screwed back in, we clipped this, it's nice and secure, it's back in here in the harness, one more bolt. Alright, it's time to put the splash shield back on, let's put the sucker back on. Alright, last thing to do before we uh, finish up, put in the uh, air intake. This simply just screws in. Bam, bam. And then... All right, now's the moment of truth. Fire her up. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if the fan's running. And she spins. Both fans are spinning. Looks good. Looks good. All right. 